Hey there YouTube, it's Aisha and I am filming really late at night because I have a couple of books I need to show you for a book haul. Um, I really have to do this because I have some paperback swaps and I need to, um, paperback swap, and I need to let the shippers know that I've received them. So, this is my book haul. And I just got home from work and I figured I'd just go ahead and open them. Because, let's be real, <laughs> your girl don't have the willpower. So I'm collecting a couple of books from a few series that I absolutely loved when I was younger. I'm going to do a highlight video on these series. So I picked up Nina Won't Tell by Catherine Applegate. This is number three in the Boyfriend and Girlfriends. Um, and this was printed by Harper Teen. Um, and it's a YA novel. This came out in the 90s. And they're redoing them as the Island Islanders series. It's coming out in 2016. But this is amazing considering this came out in the 90s. The spine's not broken. Um, it's just wonderful. Whoever kept these kept them in good condition. The next one is Lucas Gets Hurt. There's a little sticker mark, but whatever. Um, this is number 7. And this one is also in fantabulous condition. Then from her Ocean City series, I got Boardwalk Reunion and Fireworks. So I just used credits that I had sitting in my paperback swap account and um, got rid of them. They don't expire, but I felt like getting books, but I felt like not spending money. So I just did that. So, yay! is my Linda Howard book. This is another series. Oh my god, this is like brand spanking new. And this is Bloodborne. This is one of the few books in her series that I don't have. And this one's an anthology written, written with Linda Jones. And she's done quite a few books with Linda Jones. And this is just a seller note. So I can go on and mark that. I have something from Paperback Swap. I think um, if you saw my last video, I kind of flipped out because they sent me the wrong book cover and I'm collecting the correct covers and this is an oh this is another order I had a huge coup I had a five dollar coupon and this ended up coming out to um, six dollars after shipping um, you can't beat that so I got Catherine Applegate's Cherish this is one of the few that I don't own by her and I'm trying to collect them all. Um, I read this from the library, so I'm just picking it up to have on my stack. And then I got Screwdriver by Alice Clayton. Um, Cherish was $3.99, Screwdriver was $3.99. Came out to a total of eight bucks, minus my coupon, which came out to a total of three dollars, and then four dollars for shipping. Six ninety-seven is what I paid for two books plus shipping, and. Finally, I can say that like everyone else has been saying it. <laughs> everyone else is like, yeah, you only spent $12. And I'm like, I'm not that restrained. <laughs> and then I went ahead and blew that savings <laughs> here um, by getting another package. I kind of needed some retail therapy. And my other retail therapy is pocketbooks. And I have no more space for pocketbooks. So... In this package, we have a few books. Alright, so I picked up the Alice Clayton Redhead Revealed. Um, I am going to see her in Chicago in November. And I wanted to make sure um, I've read her work. And then I have the, red, the Unidentified Redhead, Sarah the Bookworm, um, whose channel hasn't been updated in a while. She absolutely loved the series. Um, so I thought I'd go ahead and pick them up. And then the red head plays, plays her hand. And these are book one through three in the series. Um, so I figured I'd pick these three up. I think I paid 99 cents for one of these. Yeah. I paid... 99 cents for this one. Okay. And then 
I got Point of Retreat by Colleen Hoover. And is this a scratch and dent? Yeah, it was a scratch and dent. The uh, cover was bent. Um, but I can deal. I'll try to deal. Then I got Twisted by Emma Chase. This is book two. Um, that uh, started in Tangled, which I read and loved. Um, so I figured I'd just go ahead and pick it up. Then I picked up This Girl by Colleen Hoover, which is book three in the Slam series. And they had another Kimberla Lawson Roby book, so I picked up The Perfect marriage and this is another one of her novellas this isn't part of the reverend okay this is kind of dirty there's like a coffee mark and there's a whole bunch of There's there's like sticker damage, really book outlet. There's water damage. Oh no, this is not scratching then, and I am not. So. This is not scratch and neck, and this is disgusting. Yeah, y'all gonna get another note. So, I'm not, I don't think people understand. I'm not trying to be rude or mean, but I am particular about my books. If I buy them used, I'm particular about how I buy them. Um, this isn't supposed to be used and it's not supposed to be scratch and dent and it's definitely a scratch and dent copy. So if that's going to be the case, y'all need to credit me as if it were a scratch and dent copy. But we'll talk about that later. Um, this is The Perfect Marriage by Kimberla Lawson Roby. This is another one of her novellas. I don't believe this is one of the Curtis Black series, but, um... I'm collecting all her works as I said. I don't believe. No, this is a standalone. And the front pages are torn. Nah. Nah, son. Nah. <laughs> it ain't gonna be me. But that's my haul. I got quite a few books from the same publisher. How I got used copies that are better looking than a new book. You don't play it yourself. I'm not the one. But this is my haul. Thanks so much for watching guys. And goodbye.